Well then, I have to switch as Sly and buy the hover pack. So, I'm gonna do some coin stealing. You guys, uh, I'll catch you guys in a bit. All right. It took me a while, but I did it. I got the freaking loot. Which took me a while. It took me like a good 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Let's... I used Sly though. Sly's was a little bit easier. Okay, we're gonna start the mission now. <laughs> All right, we made it. Thank God. How do you plan to hack into the aircraft control tower? It's simple, really. The whole system is linked through computer nodes which monitor the power generated by the nearby windmills. Seriously? All the power around here comes from the local windmills? I thought they were just for looks. The control nodes tell a different story. How do you plan to get up there? It's pretty high. My turbo chair has been outfitted with an extra afterburner. Heights such as that are nothing to me. Okay, I gotta hack all four windmills. Not bad. Yeah, it took me a while to figure out how to do, use the hover pack. It's like a pretty much like a double jump, but an extra jump. You know what I mean? Like Prepare a triple jump. yourself, computer. I will show no mercy. Oh God, I wasn't expecting this. Oh, what? Good thing I've got hacker code linked to the right analog stick. This data stream looks protected. Hmm, looks like I might need to transport the circular lockdown oh. code. Come on, dude. Finally, some challenge. Oh shit. All right, there we go. Another falls before my digital kung fu. <laughs> oh boy. All right, time to get up there. Oh. Yeah, this could be a problem. You see, he's supposed to get up there. Like, he's supposed to grab the ledge. Why isn't he grabbing the ledge? I am so disappointed. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Holy hell. Oh, I'm not even supposed to be here. Fuck. This one. Oh, wait. There's treasure. <laughs> treasure takes precedence over everything. Treasure matters. All right. Nice. Moving on. Here, I thought we could hack these goddamn windmills at, like, pretty much the same time. I didn't know they would be separate. Well, not at the same time. You guys know what I mean. Like, we could- we have the freedom to hack them, is what I was trying to say. Come, grasshopper. Kneel before the feet of the master. Looks like they're going to put up a little fight this time. Okay, this one's a little bit more challenging. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, all right, it's not bad, not bad. They just spawn endlessly. 
which isn't that much of a problem. Okay, those ones aren't gonna be a problem. Mm, a digital black hole? Gonna have to hack around it. A digital black hole, are you serious? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's one side done. Oh, hey, it's you guys again. All right, all right, all right. This, this one wasn't that difficult. Oh, shit! <laughs> Another terminal terminated. Terminated. Oh, he has loot. I'm sorry. Go to sleep. I need your treasure. I need your treasure. Gold medal. Oh, it doesn't even tell me how much. Oh. Oh, fuck. Serpentine! There we go. Don't worry, my pet. I'll make this quick and painless. Put it down! Oh. Alright, we gotta get rid of these turns first, because they're annoying. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, let's take that turn. Okay. I like these hacking sections of these mini-games. They're actually very nice. These ones are tanky as shit. Okay. Oh no, 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 no. Please, please, please. Please don't get me! Excellent. Now for the aircraft control tower. Once it's hacked, the system will be mine! <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, that's supposed to be my evil laugh. Uh, I'll be here all night, folks. All night. Oh, it's just up here, bro. Oh, wait. You'll have to use your auxiliary afterburner to get over to that computer. Jump as far as you can towards it, then goose the afterburner. Go- Aha! My final opponent! Looks like they saved the big code for last. How about me? Let me through, let me through, let me through, let me through. Yes! I don't give a shit. Run! Oh, I have to fight them. Okay. Oh, I'm so bad. Oh, might be a little bit bad, actually. Oh, never mind. The mirror was a third one harder. Success! I've got total access. Wait, the, the code's unstable. Everything's speeding up. What is happening? What? Oh my god. Windmill throwing stars, eh? This little system bug might come in handy. <laughs> might come in handy. Thanks to our combined efforts, we are now ready for the final round of the Aces dog fighting competition. Put on your helmets, because it's time for Operation Turbo Dominant Eagle. In just a few hours, Team Iceland and Team Belgium will begin fighting it out in the B-Champs round. This will provide the perfect cover for step one of my plan. 
Night Sly, use the catapult and your paraglider to get access to the local gunships, plan some tracking devices, then head back to the team hangar and suit up for the finals. Murray, you're up next. Use your rowboat to pull down the aircraft communication antenna. With it out of commission, the Baron will have to use an unscrambled radio frequency to call in the gunships for backup. If that happens, I'll be ready with our secret weapon. And with the tracking devices installed, I'm guaranteed not to miss. In the end, though, it'll be up to Sly. This is a sudden death competition. The first team to take out last year's champ wins. That's if the Black Baron doesn't take out all the competition first. Okay, from what I gather, we gotta take him out first. That seems right. Operation Turbo Dominant Eagle. Oh my god. That's such a cool fucking operation name. Let's make our way there. Alright, just gotta take this treasure real quick. Hey. Money is money, bro. Money is money. Oh, bro. Oh, come on, dude. Yes! I'll just get up there, alright. Hey. And now we begin. Excellent! The B-Champs dogfight is beginning! With these guys going at it, no one will notice as you slip onto the gunships and plant a tracking device. Sounds straightforward enough. Where'd you get these trackers? They look kind of funny. Best I could do on short notice. They're sensitive to extreme changes in altitude. You'll have to pull this job off at high elevation or it's a bust. Shouldn't be a problem. Use a catapult to get airborne. Then hold R1 while falling to paraglide. Oh. Excellent. Oh, they do look the funny. First trackers in place. If I'm not mistaken, there should be a pressure vent near the front of the aircraft. It might be just the thing to give you a lift. Okay, all right. Well, I gotta wait till I'm closer then. Ah, we made it. Hell yeah. Well done. Two down. Come on. Come on. Is this... Yeah. One more. One more. Great. Underlay. One underlay. More and we're in business. I think it's that one on the left there. But I'm going to go to this one. Because I know we've gotten this one. And then... Jump on it. Oh, dude, I don't think I can make it. Wait, maybe, maybe I can make it to this one. Oh, don't you dare swerve off to the side, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Oh, well, at least it doesn't reset our time, at least. Now I don't know which one it is. Shit. Yo, I gotta wait. Play the waiting game now. <laughs> oh, it is this one. Look at that. Nice work, my boy. The gunship's GPS data is flowing in. Head back to the hangar and suit up. All right, Murray, the Black Baron's communication antenna is held up by three support beams. 
pull them out of place, and the whole array will fall apart. Don't worry. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's rowing and breaking stuff. Nice. Oh, dude. Row! Oh my god, the boat! Row like you never rode! You have to be kidding me. I want to raise after this. Holy titty sprinkles. Go, 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 Last one. Oh no. I'm literally on my last legs here for this goddamn boat. No. Holy shit, dude. I'm on a sliver of health. No! All right. Oh, we get full health? Oh, but it restarts us in the beginning. Shit. Come on, come on, yes! Move along, move along, move along, do da, do da, move along, move along, do da, do da, da. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Yes! Oh, we did it. Let that be a lesson to all antennas. I will not be trifled with. This is it. I am the tiger, pal. Look for the Black Baron. Take him out and this competition is all over. And go easy on the throttle. It's been sticking lately. Quit worrying. I'll see you in the winner's circle. Oh, that's the Baron. Oh, please don't frickin' hit me. The Black Baron is on last place. Right. That raccoon is good. Gunships, converge on my position and destroy the Cooper aircraft. Send in a spare plane as well. Roger, what? Baron. All units on route. Sorry, Baron, but you'll have to fight there this year. What? Who is this? How did you find this freak? What? Now? That? This is home. I command it. No. Oh, this plane's come unfixed. High time for an upgrade, I say. No way. Oh, no, you don't, you weasel. Weasel, am I? I beat you. Your biplane is in pieces. <laughs> We're both still airborne, aren't we? The victor has yet to be decided. Then, let's settle it. Beware, my boy. I've trained ten years at Fisticuffs. Pugilism is my passion. If you oh, fight damn. as well as you fly, this shouldn't take long. On go! Oh, he's good. Oh. Defend your leader! 
Oh, come on, dude. Can you guys just drop health, please? Where did he go? Oh, what the hell was that? Whoa! Oh. Victory! I have won again! What? On go! If you're this so dumb. Master boxer, wait till he commits to a big punch, then strike! Yeah, I know, I figured it out, but I didn't know what that last move was. Oh no. Dude. What? How did that not hit him, bro? Out of that. Oh, I can't. I hate this camera angle right now, dude. It's so frustrating. What is that? Yes. Oh, dude, I'm like really focused. Oh, there's, there's now you here? Oh. my chance no fuck Onga. bro are you serious right now so dumb 
come on. I fell off? Oh my god, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> Okay, that's so fucking stupid. All right, come on. Come on. Fire already? Oh, you son of a bitch. Come on. No way. I got too close that time? Oh my god. There we go. Oh, I got health back. Oh, Alright, the game's being generous for once. He's letting this he's letting his minion do all the work. Yes, oh my god. A fatal blow. What happened? What? That's enough. You win, Cooper. Wait, you? You're Penelope, the Baron's mechanic. No. No, you are the Black Baron. Suppose someone was bound to find out sooner or later. I guess I'm kind of relieved. But why? Look, let's talk on the ground where it's safe. She was the Baron the whole time? Quite a revelation. Penelope and the Black Baron were one and the same. But before we could even process this turn of events, we were rushed to the winner's circle. Somehow, against all odds, we become this year's champions. There was a bit of an awkward moment between Bentley and Penelope. I guess the photos they'd sent each other over the internet were a bit exaggerated. That night, Penelope explained that the disguise was invented to get her past the dogfighting league's strict age requirements. However, after winning, the Baron became a celebrity and she found herself putting on the costume more and more often. But now, with the Black Baron out of the picture, she was free to take up a new path and she joined the gang without hesitation. The next day, our newest recruit treated us to a week-long aerial tour of Holland. Aww. She was fitting in just fine. Also, I just learned that she's a mouse. 
Not a rabbit or a bunny. She's a mouse. Okay. <laughs> Just want to clarify that now. <laughs> I did not know that till, you know, now. After a careful analysis of Dr. M's fortress, Bentley came to the difficult conclusion that his demolition skills just weren't going to be enough. If we wanted to get inside the Cooper vault, we'd have to recruit a full-time demolition specialist. However, Bentley's proposed candidate was a shock, my old enemy, the Panda King. As a member of the original Fiendish Five, he had a part in taking out my dad and stealing pages from the Thievius Raccoonus. Eventually, I caught up with him, and I claimed back what he had stolen. There was no way I was gonna let that monster on my team, but Bentley was firm. He discovered the Panda King had left his life of crime and was now a monk living the life of quiet meditation high up in the mountains. I wasn't at all convinced, but there was no denying that he had the skills we needed if we were to succeed. So the gang packed up, put on our disguises, and headed east to China. Hunlin Mountains, China. Why? Fancy schmancy. The dragon warrior has returned anew. I love it that we're getting all the old characters as well. That's actually really cool. Imagine that. I can't imagine being a kid and seeing that. Hey, that's the guy from Sly 1 and 2. Oh my god. This is so cool. Stay sharp, team. For all we know, the Panda King's just as dangerous as ever. How can you say that? Just look at him. Have you ever seen someone more at peace with the world? I'll admit, he does look kind of zenned out. Ah, uh, Mr. King, Honorable Panda King, we humbly wish to speak with you. I guess he doesn't want to talk. Sorry, Bentley. Let's go. Be realistic, Sly. He's clearly in a deep meditative trance. Huh. It'll take some doing, but I think I see a way to get the team up to his shrine. Good. The walk up here tired me out. I don't want to turn around now. Man, I missed the van. We never had to walk anywhere back then. Okay, okay. Let's just get this <laughs> over with. Murray, you're up first. If you could get to the top of that pillar, you should be able to use your ball move to bounce all the way up to the Panda King. Okay, bouncing is a lot easier than more walking. Seriously, you guys want to see my blisters? No way, is he serious? Yeah, okay, Master. Bouncing, pillars, piece of cake. <laughs> I hear that. Sometimes you've got to be firm. No, seriously, was he for real about the blisters? Cause, uh, I don't know, it's... yeesh. Oh, shoot. What do I gotta do? Oh, I gotta get up there? Oh! I like how it just starts us right into this goddamn episode. <laughs> oh! Okay, so we made it all the way over here. That's where we gotta go. Okay, I 
I'm in position! Penelope, you're up next. I'm not sure if you're aware, but Sly could jump onto small points. Those bamboo shoots would be an ideal means of ascent if they weren't spaced so far apart. Hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can figure it out for myself. It's, uh, got to do with the ice. Okay, so clearly we need more points in order for Sly to ascend. The problem? Where we're going to get them. The answer? Split each chute down the middle, thereby doubling the points of ascension. However, the ice down there appears too thin to walk on, so there's no way to do it by hand. So, I'll need to use my lightweight remote control car to split the trees for us. Perfect! That's it, exactly! Great! Anything for Sly. I love to see him pull off those athletic moves. <laughs> that wasn't creepy. <laughs> I think I installed a turret on this little lady. Perfect for splitting logs. Oh. This is so cool. What the hell? Oh, holy smokes. There's two more to go. One tree left. Yes. Hey, we did it. There you go, Sly. Hope it's everything you could have wished for. Uh, thanks. It looks great. My pleasure. Really, <laughs> anytime. Ah, uh, Sly, isn't it time you climbed up there and joined Murray? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> oh, dude, I can't believe she likes Sly. I'm just noticing that now. What is wrong with me? She has a little crush on Sly. She has a thing, kind of like how we have a thing for Carmelita. I mean, Sly has a thing for Carmelita. I mean, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> ah, no! Okay. We just meet up with Murray? Oh, yeah, we do. Whack the supports up on those pinwheels! Really? Pinwheel destabilization is the cornerstone of this plan! Jump into my hands and I'll throw you up there! Oh. Oh, we have to do that to all of them. Okay. I'm all done up here. Excellent. Now that the pinwheels are unstable, I just need to light them up with my darts. One shot per rocket should do the trick. Oh. Uh. One. Oh, and it's going to be moving. No way I missed. There we go. Come on. Oh, no, this sucks. I suck at this. Okay, there. Yeah! How are they not paying attention? Those pinwheels are about to go. Guru, feel up for a challenge? How do you do that? Well, that's right. You should be able to persuade the guards to help you get up to those rockets. Oh, higher. That's normal. So now what? Oh. 
This is so cool. What the hell? I wasn't expecting that. What? The precision. Oh my god. Strong work. That fallen pinwheel should serve as an excellent makeshift elevator. So all of this just to get up there. Bruh. And now we go see the panda. I agree. He's in a super meditative state. So let's just shout in his ear. Now, to break him out of this trance, we'll need to delve into his mind. A hacksaw, then? No! It'll require channeling. Hi, what da Sly, sit beside the Panda King. The guru will bridge your minds. Oh my god, really? Inner peace. No way. I see you carry the cane of the notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the thievious Raccoonus? Whoa, this is just like the time I beat the stuffing out of you. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless villagers in the snow? You are a thief, just like me. Uh, yeah, are you even listening to what I'm saying? Insolent child, you shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique. Flame, fool. Uh-oh. We're doing this again? I remember I just did this the whole time then when I got close. Booming chop! Palms of thunder! Fiery wheel! Fiery wheel! Palms of thunder! Fiery wheel! Fiery wheel! Booming chop! Fiery wheel! Palms of thunder! Yeah! Booming chop! Fiery wheel! Booming chop! Fiery wheel! Palms of thunder! Fiery wheel! Oh yeah, still same. Snap out of it! This is all in your head. My mind is clear. Focused on Whoa. your destruction. I've got to break him out of this memory loop. Maybe I should... Make him sad? Let's try play nice. Look, I'm here to help you. To get your mind out of this rut. If you truly wish to aid me, stand still and let my fireballs cook your flesh. It's gonna be the same mechanics, right? Palms of thunder, booming chop, fiery wheel, fiery wheel, booming chop, palms of thunder, fiery wheel, fiery wheel. Palms of thunder, fiery wheel, fiery wheel. Oh yeah, it's still easy. Booming chop. Uh, say something from the past. We could make them sad. We both know why you're here. You're fixated on the moment of your greatest defeat. I beat you, and forever after, you've wondered how it all fell apart. I hate you, Sly Cooper. You've ruined me. Ruined the Panda King. And I've hated you. But that doesn't make any of this real. Years have passed, and, and we both changed. Come out of this trance. Let's meet each other as we are today, and, and let go of who we were when this fight occurred. You are... 
correct. Forgive me. My mind is not always my own. Aww. Well, that did it. The Panda King wasn't any more excited about the notion of him joining the gang than I was. If it weren't for the guru, who for some reason really hit it off with the old guy, the whole deal would have been a bust. We could see the anger in the Panda King's eyes as he recounted how he lost a member of his own family. A daughter who was abducted by a powerful general from the Northern Mountains. She was to be the bride in a forced marriage to this unscrupulous ruler, and Panda King was exiled. We agreed to help him recover his lost daughter in exchange for his skills in the Cooper Vault job. I still wasn't convinced this was a good idea, but a deal's a deal. Holy shit. Sly Cooper and the gang in a cold alliance. What a way to start this episode. We, we all know that our objective here is to retrieve the Panda King's dog, Jing King. She's being kept against her will by this man, General Sao. A real key to this guy. During surveillance, I actually witnessed him kick a puppy. Twice! He plans on forcing Jing King to marry him next Saturday. Clearly, time is of the essence. Here's the plan. First, I'll approach Sao in disguise and attempt to get hired as his wedding planner. Hopefully, with a man on the inside, we'll get some news on Jing King. Still, we need more information. Two of us will need to work together to steal a pair of twin keys and break into Sao's house of business. Once inside, I'll need to utilize some new technology to circumvent their ultra-tight security. Finally, thanks to Penelope's air sweeps, we've picked up an unusual radio signature out in the water. Someone will need to go eyeball the anomaly and figure out what it is. We can't leave anything up to chance here, or Jing King lives unhappily ever after. All right, people, that's where I'm going to leave off this episode. I know it was an explosive start. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, I, you know, it all depends on uh, how you guys are receiving the new episodes of how I'm cutting it up or how I'm editing it. Let me know if, you know, if, if, if it's already been reverted back to what it was before. That's fine. Great. You know, I'm just testing out waters, right, for newcomers and stuff. Anyways, oh, that was, this is a long recording session. I'm only meant to record that whole episode, but now we've begun this episode. <laughs> uh, anyways, I'll catch you guys tomorrow for another episode, if it depends, right? Or another video. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys had a great day. And with that, bye-bye! Smile! Have a great time! Go have your goddamn fucking Wheaties at night. Go cook your supper. Go take your responsibility. Just leave me alone. Bye-bye! Bye-bye!